Now you might find when you set up a LinkedIn advertising campaign that this box here, LinkedIn Audience Network, is checked. It's mentioned down in this placement section and you don't quite know what that means and you're not sure whether you should have it turned on or off. Well, I'm going to explain what it means and I'm going to explain to you why you should always have it off. That's a 100% of the time rule. Never have it turned on. Um, there, there could be some very, very niche examples where you would have it turned on, but for the most part, let's just say no, especially if you're beginning and watching this video, turn it off. And I'm going to explain why. So what the LinkedIn Audience Network is, is, and it's only available for certain ad types. So we're on website visits and as a result, it's automatically checked. So you need to come in and here and uncheck it. But if we went with lead generation instead, it automatically unchecks because lead generation is only available native to the LinkedIn platform. But with website visits, as an example, it auto checks. So what it's doing is it's delivering our ads to third party websites. That's websites that aren't LinkedIn, but LinkedIn has a partnership with, um, and it's delivering our ads on those websites. The problem is we don't know what those websites are. And the issue with third party websites is bots. Okay. A lot of bots run through and click ads randomly just to ascertain data. And I don't really know why, but they do, right? There are bots everywhere and they click on ads. They waste your ad spend. And what that can do is often when your ads are being displayed on third party websites, your cost per click can look really good, like astonishingly good, ultra low. But for some reason, none of it will convert. And the main reason is usually bot traffic. I really hope you are enjoying this video. And this little fella has a request, right? He's saying if you're in, he can't, he speaks to me. Um, he's saying if you're enjoying the video, and you could consider leaving a like, commenting any questions for John or subscribing, it'd be greatly appreciated. And for every like, comment or subscribe, he gets a dreamy. Um, and that will be direct from you. Um, but not too many because we don't want him to get fat. So um, yeah, anyway, on with the video. So I'm going to show you an example. Here is a remarketing campaign that we ran a while ago. And we had it running in the LinkedIn audience network as well as on LinkedIn for a little while. And we had this problem whereby our cost per click seemed pretty good, but we weren't getting as many conversions as we expected. Now, this is all really hidden. You don't know this stuff unless you're advanced. If we look at breakdown here, I can select on off network and that will break down my ads and show me what's happening on LinkedIn and what's happening in the audience network. OK, now, as we look at it here, the ads that were running on the audience network, that's third party websites, we had way more impressions and our cost per click was a lot lower. Like look at that. So it cost us £4.50 on LinkedIn to get a click through to our website. But on the third party websites, the LinkedIn audience network costs 69 pence. So you might be thinking, well, why the hell would I not use that? The reason is we're not after clicks. We are after end results. So what we do is if we scroll along here, the top one is our audience network. The bottom one is on LinkedIn. Look at this. Whilst we, yeah, we got more clicks and they were cheaper, the conversion rate on the audience network was 0.3%. The conversion rate on LinkedIn was 6.46%. That's a, just a massive difference. And that even shows itself here. It cost us £233 to get something on the LinkedIn audience network, despite getting way more traffic compared to £70 on LinkedIn. And that's the reason we always have the audience network disabled. We lose control that we would have if we were just showing our ads on LinkedIn. And as a result of bots, you tend to see very, very skewed results. Insanely good cost per clicks. No one's converting. The reason is they're most of the time not real people. So that is um, the LinkedIn audience network explained and why you should always have it turned off. Now, um, my company, Tech Growth Marketing, we've put together a complete toolkit, loads of guides, basically the co cookie cutter, best LinkedIn ads campaign you could have, the top performing ad creative, the top performing ad copy, how to set up your audiences, how to set up the campaign, start to finish, all the templates, all the guides, the internal SOPs we use ourselves to run campaigns, and that's all we do. I've put that together, and you can find that via a link in the description below. And the good part is we're running flash sales. So every now and then we'll reduce the price of that significantly. Um, and you can check that out below. So just double check to see if there is a sale on at present. If there is, you're lucky. If not, might be able to wait until the next one comes along. Um, but yeah. 
that's available uh, via uh, the link in the description below. And if you just want a little bit more information about running LinkedIn ads, we have some free guides on this channel as well, which are going to help you just get started. Um, so yeah, that's everything. Hope you have a good day and I'll speak to you very, very soon.